if you are using Logitech MX Master Mouse and facing backend problem, then you are not alone. And several of users now all of a sudden have reported that they are facing this issue with their Mac. And Logitech recently also announced the newer update. Let's see if that issue is now resolved or not. For that, I'm gonna quickly go here. I'm gonna type Logitech MX Master 3S driver download. And there we go. Now here, let's click on downloads. And now we have got this version. So this version is recently launched. So today it's seven and they announced this version today itself and seems like this is fixed. So let's click on download. Now I'm gonna click on open file and let's make a double click on it and click on open. Enter a password and now click on install option plus. And to be honest, this problem is not new but seems like Logitech done some grave mistake now and that's why everybody is facing this issue. All right, so it says um, app background activity and let's click here if something is going on and probably we need to approve it and this is already enabled. So make sure you have enabled this Logitech option plus And I don't have anything else to enable. All right, so seems still it kind of stuck at same place. Maybe um, I again need to quit this and again, let's try back. And again, I'm gonna enter my password here. All right, so now it is asking me to open login item. All right. I can actually click here on plus. Now probably I can give the Logitech option plus. Okay. And we already have enabled the background activity for Logitech option plus. Let me disable it and enable it back. Yeah, and let's close it. And it should work actually. I'm doing this for the third time. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna go and install the previous version. All right, so still saying same. Let me close this. And probably, um, unfortunately, we just saw, you know, they today itself announced this and still it is not working, at least for me. So I'm gonna simply drag and drop this to the trash. And now um, let me go back to Safari. And here in order to download the previous version, one of very trusted download archive site is uptodown.com. So this is the site. And again, I'm gonna put the direct link in the description of this video. Now, if I go here and let's install this old version, which was announced in June 2025. If you want to see even more older version or let's say this one didn't work for you, you can click here on old version and then you can even go further beyond. Yeah, let's go with this 1.88. Now I just clicked on it and And here is the download. So let's click on download. I'm gonna click on allow. And it is downloaded. Now let's make a double click on it. I'm gonna click on open. Again, need to enter the password. Let's click on it. Again, very similar steps. And um, seems like 
it will automatically start and then again I think I need to go and open accessibility and let's enable it here I need to enter my password and permission granted no problem so, no thanks and um, of course you can log in if you want but um, I'm not interested in logging in um, let's quickly click on skip and hola my mouse detected and I can make necessary customization as needed so the question now arises: do really need the latest driver version well if this version worked for you I don't think so that you need it probably Logitech is using same application which is option plus for their all hardware and they now might be prioritizing it for the newer hardware so that could be the reason why you know we are seeing this kind of issue but here you can see it is working perfectly fine so that's how guys we can resolve this issue and really it doesn't matter you know the best or latest driver for you is the one that work for you hope guys you find this video helpful informational if so then please make sure you subscribe to the mac essential where our objective is to elevate your mac os experience so please make sure you subscribe and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye